Dying to a rat in a video game is the same thing as dying to a Goomba. Only different is one is shaped like an insultingly bad drawing of a black man's penis, and the other one is the average New Yorker. I live in the basement floor in New York, so that means I often have to deal with mutated rats. Often I dealt with them because I used to work fast food. So I walk around at like 3 a.m. and I swear the rats can smell the fast food on my clothing. In fact, I never noticed this until recently. Skunks live in New York. Like I was taking out the trash at 3 a.m. before I, I, I realized for a second. Oh shit, that's a possibility. Now of course I didn't get proper footage of it because... Yeah, you know, security cameras. They shoot in great quality, and they would never shoot at one frame per second. Nowadays, I always remember to check the area before I leave, so I can be mentally prepared. And physically. But j just imagine just walking home from work late at night, and you see this alleyway, and it's the only thing preventing you from getting home to safety, and then fucking... Homeless Pepe Le Pew attacks you. I saw this video of an exterminator who said that mice usually stay in parks, around restaurants, and old buildings. I live in New York. That's everywhere in New York. And these pests apparently work their way up buildings. So I'm really glad to be the primary source of the rat-tastic experience. Awesome, dude. But it's fine, I have ways of dealing with them. You know, <laughs> sticky ways. Because they're fast and nimble. It really reminds me of someone I'm awfully familiar with. Do I distract me that memories? Oh, yeah! I remember it too. That's why we're not sure. Die! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all fun and games till I catch Mickey with a mouse trap. Nigga's gonna give me a subscription to Disney Multiply. <clears throat> like, I never like seeing these fucking rats in games. Mickey's a mouse, but that's just a nice way of calling him a rat. It's like chubby and fat. It's the same shit. Stop sugarcoating it. Plus, you can't spell Mickey without Icky. Fucking black Chuck E. Cheese motherfucker. I'm playing FIFA 9, and I have this character on my team. Her name is Freya. And she makes me so uncomfortable, man. Like, look at Freya! Flying in the air while everybody's suffering. Fucking Ratatouille bitch. Like, I'm surprised the Black Plague didn't happen in New York. I mean, I guess Europe is kinda gross. We have lizard people in the US, but the Ukrainians? They had rat people injecting the Black Plague into their teeth. Have you ever seen a rat move so quickly in your home that you thought your eyes were playing tricks on you? It feels like a fucking horror movie. Hell, they made a horror game about them. What is the matter? Father? Yeah, I've never been more terrified in my life. But the fact that they made some weird noises and they eat human flesh is giving me fucking chills, man. It's an intelligent concept, considering they are the world's worst creatures right next to these fucks. Now, I hate roaches more than anything in the world. I hate it more than rapists, more than pedophiles, more than anything. They're disturbing, and I don't know why these niggas keep popping everywhere in my fucking room. I can stop eating and drinking in my room for three whole months, and they will appear. So I'm convinced. What do they want in my room? They want human flesh. Listen, I know that sounds ridiculous. 
Uh, I expect that from rats because, uh, oh my God, they're so ruthless. Animal crisscross applesauce has this neat game breaking glitch where if you leave your village for one month without an ordinance of sanitation, then your home gets raided by everybody's favorite bug. Due to this, some villagers won't visit your home, which is a good thing. You don't know if they have rabies. Also, these villagers just let themselves in. Like, it's so disrespectful. So, ro roaches in the home are pretty harmless, maybe even beneficial. To the average player. But, uh, to me, I want them gone. So, how do I make them disappear? To get rid of them, you basically have to walk over a cockroach and they get squashed. And, unfortunately, the longer you are away from the game, the more will appear. It's weird because the game assumes that there was many, and I couldn't imagine the dread of that. Like, it's it's hard killing them in the game, assuming your room is just cluttered for some reason. I can't imagine doing that in real life with my limited-ass space. It'll be too much of a hassle. Also, they leave ghostly spirits. It's like, it's like they're trying to humanize these guys. Wait a minute. Is the next Animal Crossing game gonna have anthropomorphic bugs? That's good. That's good. Sometimes they try to make cockroaches seem innocent, like with my nigga Wally. -E. A uh, great movie, but uh, could have done without the roach. But whatever. A a even in games, like ra rats, kind of look cute sometimes. Like it's like why? These things will deviously lick your life. These niggas are always in sewer-like areas. And I, I know what's that like, because I live in the basement floor of my apartment. Leaking pipes, uh, floodings, th that happens yearly. And I know this setting from the back of my fucking head. And it all starts with the, with the rat enemies. Fucking surrounded by some form of trash. You, you know what? If we got the good ending of Disney... Then Mickey Mouse would be down here with me. This nigga Mickey is the result of someone making it out of the hood. The summer finally ended. And so will the onslaught of these horrible pests. Hopefully. I mean, considering how much they endure, I don't find satisfaction in killing them. Uh, mostly because after I kill them, I have to, like, grab a piece of paper and grab their corpse. And I could, I could feel it even with the paper so, so it, it feels really gross all together and speaking of gross why the fuck are there ants in my bathroom are they eating my shit particles fallout 4 these things these disgusting things are located in the beginning of the game it happens right after you enter a bunker vault because of a nuclear bomb this makes sense because it's common conception that roaches survive nuclear bombs so, the first time you see this, you see you see these niggas on the glass window, right, after this nuclear explosion shit. And I can I could classify this game as a horror game. You might be saying, uh, but, but nothing, nigga. You want to know why I'm afraid of roaches? Roaches love dark, humid places. So, people with consistent swamp ass, beware. This game actually makes it fun to kill these things. I don't know why, but every time I punch a roach, the impact and weight to it feels really goddamn good. You also get a gun and use it on them, giving it a very satisfying feeling. Uh, <clears throat> you know, because they come in, they come in waves sometimes, and they, they they appear in different sizes, and unfortunately, they can fly. So. Any kind of distance, um, satisfactual kills, yeah, that makes sense, um, feels good. Yeah, it feels really good. Usually, I have to be prepared, um, I mean physically, because apparently cockroaches can squeeze through the tiniest holes or crooks under your doors, so I have to improve my defense mechanisms. The kata, the kata... What? The cut, 
Kasaridophobia. Kasaridophobia. The roach phobia distilled in Resident Evil 5 is one of the reasons it can be considered partly a horror game. You enter a chapter with sticky substances above, showing you that this is clearly an old building. Which sounds familiar. But halfway through this old facility, you need to turn on the power to progress. And the only direction you can go looks fun, to say the least. Then you enter this place where the walls look like melted chocolate vanilla ice cream. And these weird alien sacks jolting, ready to burst. You can shoot them, but it ultimately does nothing. Possibly w wondering what's inside of them, you just have to move on. And after you turn on the power with your partner, you hear... Then as you walk back, a sack hatch dripping God knows what. Then shortly after, one of these things land in front of you. These cockroaches are called reapers, and they start immediately spewing gas. Of course, you start running away. Your AI partner says, I have horrible memories of their instant kill animation. It's gross, and it rivals the glasp from Resident Evil Revelations 2. The game offers a ring around the rosy spot, just so you can get the hang of dealing with them. They expose their weak spots, the yellow glowing sacks, where they can be stunned and killed. You could shoot them in the back while they're running towards you, if you're skilled enough, or risk them making an attempt to grab you so they could, you know, expose their weak spots. And uh, that worked very well for me. So well that uh, while I was recording some sections for this fight, uh, I went back to look at the recording. Bro, like, look at the grab range. Look at it! It's not even, it didn't even reach! Oh my god, dude. What in the fuck is this? Hold on, no, 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 no. let me play that back. He grabbed Chris! Why did it grab me? Look at it! Oh my god, dude. Look at that. That's so fucking bullshit. Whatever. These enemies walk like the Terminator because they, they know they're the shit. They know they can instant kill you. They're cocky. And what is, what's more menacing than anything? Something standing there or something walking. And it just makes their weak spots harder to shoot. They naturally create stress and anxiety. It doesn't help that they have their own theme song. I just looked up Australian cockroaches and I realized that they are harmful to me because I have asthma and eczema and allergies. Despite their ability to body me solely from existing alone, Reapers are on a whole new level. Like, they really don't need this gas defense mechanism. They have hard shells that will capture the attention of closeted extroverts. They, they are immune to explosives, man. Explosives don't affect them. Oh, maybe maybe uh, larger ones. 
Boy, oh boy, would I hate to be cornered by these fucks. They have a weird scratch attack, but it really never gets used because, you know, insta-kills. I, I can't even believe that niggas actually fight these things with a stun rod. It's like, what? Niggas' balls are made out of boulders. <laughs> Despite all of this, I really like their design. Like, they die in a weird way. They perfectly mimic how cockroaches die in real life. When, you know, we, when we spray them with poison. It actually feels like, um, with the jolting motion that they do when they die, it feels like I'm poisoning them by injecting lead into their bodies. Uh, rightfully so, of course. And exploding their bodies leaves, leaves their limbs, like, mobile. You know, their, their limbs still move, even without... <laughs> I don't know, without the fucking rest of their body. It's weird. Like, it's cool. Because it's like, it reminds me of like how cockroaches apparently live without their head. <laughs> Considering the fact that they lose their limbs and they're still just as mobile. Shows that this was like an intended reference to that idea. It's a random bonus that they can regenerate their limbs. I'm not, uh, or body parts. I'm not even sure if cockroaches could actually do that, but I wouldn't be surprised. Also, they they drop something that I honestly wouldn't even grab with paper tissue. And I think it's colored the way it is because it's probably the same color as cockroach blood, if that makes sense. They also did this in Fallout 4. I don't know why it has, like, orange blood or whatever. Fighting these cockroaches is a hemorrhoid that a colonoscopy can't fix. The AI loves getting in the way. And I had moments where the AI would get grabbed by this thing and they would die because, I don't know, it only happened in a desperate escape where I send them on attack mode and the, the AI just fucks off and the cockroach just thinks, you know, that's that's enough of a its own person for me to just, for me to mess up their day. You, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> So of course you would want to go for more reliable use of force because the AI the AI could go off, but the uh, AI AI could really go off, but like half of the time they they they're a little too stupid, man. Like what are you what are you doing? Fire rounds doesn't affect these cockroaches because cockroaches love heat, and uh, nitrogen doesn't work on them because it doesn't. So, they can be stunned by certain rounds, such as flash rounds, which makes sense. The cockroaches are not a fan of light. Electric rounds, because... Electricity. And even acid rounds work on them. <laughs> Why didn't I think of those things? Cockroaches have to be common in Africa, considering the fact that they have their own variant of it. Which is why the Resident Evil crew made that an enemy in this game. And it's also cool because you can unlock figurines of it. And yeah, it's fucking gross, as I would expect. But you can get a closer look at it without having to worry about... <laughs> right, that. They kind of look like praying mantises, like on their hind legs. And that's because cockroaches are related to praying mantises. Which is why they also have sharp claws and shit. I could say thanks to this game, uh, my roach phobia has lessened. And honestly, no other game could do that. And I think that's pretty cool. Now, thankfully, YouTube gave me a slap in the head with their recommendations. Uh, and they sent me a video of people owning pet rats. They aren't villainous creatures. Sometimes. And uh, they shouldn't be, especially when they're kept in the right hands. <laughs> but with all that said, uh, I think we're good. I think we're funnished. Yeah. Have a good night. Unless, uh, I don't know. We could talk about spiders. <laughs>